Hi, today I am here to discuss with you the various types of motion. The whole world is in some kind of motion. For example, a cyclist going on a straight road, the blades of a moving fan, a child on a swing. They are all regarded as being in motion. But we can see there is some difference in their motion. The cyclist is moving nearly along a straight line. The blades of the fan are going round and round about its central rod. And the child? The child is swinging to and fro in a regular manner. We thus realize that motion can be of different types. So what are the types? I begin with rectilinear motion. An object is said to have a rectilinear motion if the changes in its position are all along a straight line path. See these examples. School children marching on the Rajpath on the Republic Day. Motion of a falling stone. A motorist going straight on a straight road. Striker. Motion of a striker in a game of carom. In all these cases, the objects concerned are moving along a straight path. We call such a motion as the rectilinear motion. Next, curvilinear motion. When an object moves from one position to another along a curved line, the object is said to have a curvilinear motion. Let us see the examples. A boy is standing on the bank of a river or a pond and he's throwing a stone into it. So how does the stone move? It moves into a curvilinear motion. Another one. A bus moving uphill on a zigzag road. The motion of the tip of pen while writing are examples of curvilinear motion. Rotation and revolution. Let us explore one at a time. Rotation. An object is said to have a rotational motion if it keeps on moving round and round or keeps on spinning about some definite line or axis without changing its place. Examples. Look at the blades of a moving fan. They are seen as moving but are clearly not moving along a straight line path. A potter's wheel, the wheel of a sewing machine, a child on a merry-go-round. In all these cases, the objects concerned are changing their positions with time, but are still effectively at the same place. We call all such motions as rotatory motions. What about the motion of the moon around the earth or the earth around the sun or the motion of the hours and seconds hand of a wall clock? Is it rotation? It is revolution. So what is revolution? The motion of an object moving around a central point, changing its position continuously usually following a nearly circular path is revolution. Here, the objects concerned are not moving in a straight line, but are still changing their positions continuously. They are moving in a nearly circular path about a central point. Sometimes, an object keeps on moving in a perfectly circular path. For example, if a ball is tied to the end of a string and the string is whirled round and round, the ball moves in a circular path. 
we then call such a motion as a circular motion. Periodic and non-periodic motions. This is interesting. Listen carefully. The type of motion which repeats itself after a regular interval of time is periodic motion. Examples The motion of the earth as it revolves around the sun once every year. Motion of the hands of a clock which repeats itself after a regular interval of time like 60 seconds, 60 minutes, etc. And non-periodic motion. Uh, there must be only two points we should consider. Either the motion does not repeat itself or does the repetitions in a random, irregular manner. Examples. Uh, when a person speaks like I am talking now, so my lips are moving. This movement is as long as I am speaking. When I stop, there is no movement of the lips. The movement occurs again when I... Thus, the movement of the lips may get repeated, but there is no regularity of time here. Similarly, a ball rolled on a floor keeps on moving for a while, but does not repeat its motion after it stops. Oscillatory motion An object is said to have an oscillatory motion if it moves to and fro, along the same path in a regular periodic way. Examples The swinging pendulum of a clock a child moving on a swing. A ringing temple bell. It moves back and forth between the two points along the same path. Such a motion can be observed in a suspended object for which one end of the suspending thread, wire or rod is fixed. Here, the object moves as a whole and there is no change in the shape or the size of the object. 